What's up, my boy? From that city with juice, ain't no pity or truces. When we dip in gun smoke's conclusive. Don't act clueless, hella foolish in the 90s. And GP shotgun when we ride. Solid on the yard, name hard on these streets. Did my crimes, gangster rhymes on dope beats. Still fuck laws, ain't no pause in our demeanor. Rest in peace, Muggsy and my road dog creeper. Ways to put it down, no fear of new cases. Years ago, though, it was guns and chases. 714 on my shoulders, kept it active. Roll like soldiers, G code ain't passive. Still Mac and Ratchet, still packed at the waist. Still stacking racks, still flash when they hate. Now it's podcasts and videos with pretty hoes. Me and George banging orange till the city's known. Really though. OG1. We keep it moving smooth like every day. In this industry, so they go down, they go down. How we do we on these streets for sure? Streets for sure. We make that green, don't you go, go, go. We make it move all day, all day, all day, all day. Grew up in the streets of the LB. We don't love these hoes, what they tell me. Packed up and moved to the OC. Me and George born in life, Shaq and Kobe. Fuck bitches getting money, living wealthy. Bad bitches screaming, let me get a selfie. Big stop, she be some real G. Side dick is the general of an army. Egg she podcasting in the morning. Don't say F A, here's your warning. That other bullshit be boring. With some goofy ass question, that's corny. Tommy, let me finish my story. Shooting shots, game six, rubber or rig. Smoking blunts in the bus while I'm touring. Now, welcome to George Perez Stories. OG Way. We keep it moving smooth like every day. Every day. They could not look that homie, we don't go. We don't go. It's going down for sure, for sure. Real G's in this industry. What's up, my boy? George Perez right here of George Perez Stories, episode 309. George Perez Stories is brought to you by JB's Tree Service Landscape and Installation. Look, if your lawn looks like the lawn from Friday, all kinds of crips and bloods are walking over it, they don't care. Hit up my boys at JB's Tree Service Landscape and Installation. These guys do tree trimming, stump removal, landscaping, irrigation, complete project, guys. Like, look, no kid would ever come to my house on Halloween. The cops are, we used to be scared to raid my house because my lawn was messed up. JB's Tree Service Landscape and Installation came through, and they are changing the name to JB and Sons. So make sure you give both accounts a follow on Instagram, and uh, that's all good. I'm excited today, man. Uh, the next homeboy right here, he has his own podcast of his own. It's called the Emo Podcast. Out there in Chula Vista. Uh, n- Welcome to the studio, my boy, Stevie. Steve in the you building. Know, What's up, my boy? Thank you for making this happen, man. Thank you, brother. You're making little Mexican fucking dreams become realities. We left Chula Vista for you, bro. This I know. Is, that's rare. We don't do that. I'm the podcasting coyote. El vato. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Nah, dog. Uh, you know, Eric, my boy, Eric Casas, right there in the building. Mm. Uh, Eric the God. He's like a... Like, I, I see this for later being, like, a, a primetime manager for us. Like, he's going to take one of us somewhere, dog. For sure, and I'm going to follow along. Yeah, he's he's our fucking uh, Bicep Jonah Hill right there. <laughs> <laughs> like, for real, look like, you know what I mean? Bicep Jonah Hill. <laughs> right, dog. <laughs> oh, hey, can you come over here, dog, so I can see it? Get this fucker on camera, fool. <laughs> All right. You know? Shit, bro. All right. The Mexican Shug Knight, dog. But put the glasses on, perra. <laughs> All right. 
Damn, he put it on his own walk up song. What's up, my boy? Works for everybody, dog. Tribal, emo, fools gone wild. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and uh, some underground shit. He, like, he's doing, he, he's el uh, Señor de los uh, Podcasts. El Señor, el Señor de los Podcasts, el vato. <laughs> Spensa. Hey, bro, yeah. No, Pichi Casas, is, he's brought us along. How did you guys way. meet? Uh, I looked at him to help me out at the brewery. So before I had Emo Brown, the podcast, uh, I opened a brewery. We opened a yes. brewery in Chula Vista. There was no breweries in Chula Vista, no Mexican-owned breweries. So it was like, it's time to put a little, we used to have our tagline called, put a little south in your mouth. And uh, oh, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> so then I reached out That's to Casas. That's funny as fuck, dog. I'm <laughs> gonna say that to bro. Somebody, if it, yeah, it, it it plays many ways. And oh, one man. of the things about it is we like marketing shit like that. You know, we okay. like figuring it out and and saying and doing shit that appeals to us. Because if we think it's funny, like it really doesn't matter. That's all that I care about. If we get the giggle. And I've met Casas through the brewery. He started doing uh, our website. He started helping us with all our our marketing and media. And from there, it kind of like. Whoosh, we started doing another project at a, a bar we own, and then I got in his ears like, hey, dude, I think I want to start a podcast. I want to do this. And it said Emo Brown Podcast. And now, man, like two, three years later, that shit is, that's all yeah. we do. Uh, you're very known for flipping a beard, uh, right yeah. here. <laughs> Chevy's de Nero. Chevy's de Nero. How did you come up with that? Weed. I was uh, drunk as fuck, and I was high, and I was like, you know what would be cool? Chevy's de Nero. Let's reach out to Hell one of our artist yeah. friends, and it's like... Change the logo a little and make it animated, and you know what? We release it, and we were sold out that same weekend. Yeah, hey dog, uh, you're like the ah um, oh, fuck. Like if, like if you're a rapper, your nickname would be one bar. One bar is all you need, fool. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's like, all you fucking Chev need. Is the nerd, like, oh, oh shit, shit bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We released that one, and then we did yeah, this they, one, Tres Animales, bro. Exactly. You know, that's Tres Animales. You know, I grew up listening to Corridos, man. I'm a little paisita from Chula Vista, from South San Diego. That's all we grew up listening to. Hip-hop, reggae, and corridos, bro. Like, corrido shit, though. Like, like, heavy, like what's bro. corrido, dog? Oh, you got, like, you Chalino know? in junior yeah, high school yeah, as fucking oh, shit? Yeah, man. I was a weird kid. I would yeah. wear fucking boots. I had my, my gator skin boots in school oh, with yeah? a rayon shirt one day, and then I have a fucking chain with... Like a Pennywise shirt and a flip lid. I was crazy, man. It was you some... were in PE with those yeah, boots, players? I would pay, I would... <laughs> out running white boys, bro. <laughs> they couldn't keep up. Trust me, Mexicans and boots can run fast. fast. We're not we the first one. Fuck. We fast as fucking those, bro. That's what's up. Yeah, I never wore botas to school. No? Hell no, uh, dog. You're, you're like, sending a message when you wear botas to school. Yeah, pull me over, <laughs> Border Patrol. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, uh, I, I had... My, my dad was a coyote, dog. Okay. So like, but he was like, it's just that fool used to wear red rings. He was like a homie uh-huh. paisa, you know what I mean? He was like a fucking uh, paisoni. El paisoni. Yeah, my dad was paisa, but hair slicked back, fucking clean ass button up, fucking creased khakis, and some red wings. Because he also worked for uh, the register. Okay. And uh, well, what did your dad do, dog? My dad, fuck, he was worked at Nasco for forty plus years. What's Hard Nasco? Work. Nasco is a ship building uh, company down in San Diego, oh, so okay. it's like it's it's been there for decades and decades and decades. And uh, a lot of families, Mexican families, had a family member that worked there. My dad worked there for forty years before he retired. Lost his hearing, fucked up his knee, fucked up his elbow, but he put <sighs> us through school. He put food on the table, kept the roof Straight over our up, head. Huh? All we know is hustle, fool. Your All dad, we know is hustle. <laughs> hey, your dad was like having a dad that was a quarterback. You're like, yo, man, my dad fucked his arm up, his knee, yeah, and his man, leg for us. Joe Namath mentality. My dad, Hell my, my dad retired with like plastic in his knees, man. Do you think your dad would have been a good quarterback? Let's let's break that down. Like, mm. With his worth ethic, mm. like. Your dad probably would have been like a bomb ass. He would have made college, Pedro. He would have been a fullback. He yeah. I don't think he would have been a quarterback. He's, Why? Because he, he's a something blocker. that has to have back in it. <laughs> he's, he's, he's a, a blocker. He's not a wet back. He's a fullback. <laughs> that motherfucker works so hard as fullback. <laughs> fullback. <laughs> not a little drizzle. <laughs> Damn. I see. Is it pale? Yeah, so we opened Three Punk Ales in 2017, and that's when I brought... Casa's on board, and he's been helping me ever since, man. Okay. Just doing shit. Introducing me to the right people, building a network. And what goes on at Three Punk L's? Because mm. I know you, it's a bar. Do yeah. you, guys, you guys got food there and shit? No, para nada. We have food trucks. Oh, shit. Yeah, we have food trucks. Spensa. Perdón, hay pedo. Fools know that they're outside. Hey, these yeah. fools are going to get hungry right now. Bro, well, it's, it's, it's the thing. Um, breweries, when we kind of got started, you could only find them in like industrial site, commercial zone, out in the middle of nowhere. It used to be cool to find out the most like difficult brewery to find. 
that was the coolest brewery to go drink at. Ours, we flipped the script. We put like TVs and we put sports on. We have DJs that come through and we just have it. We put a little bit of that Mexican feel to it. We like the, the tagline for How us. How Mexican, is, dog? Is there fucking. Bro, it, it's three saliquados in the restroom? The, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Fool, look at it. Familia, cerveza, musica, fiesta, fool. So we bang that Damn, shit. We bang that shit hard, did it One bro. bar right Dude, there, dog. That's all you one fucking bar. need, bro. Say it again, dog. Familia, cerveza, musica, y fiesta, bro. That's all you fucking need, dog. Nah, you need a little perico in there. Somewhere. There's a little, like, there he is. He's like, nah, Ding. no. <laughs> <laughs> so what other ones do you have? Because you also have the Manic, the Hispanic. We have Manic, Hispanic collaboration we just did. They're the brown lager. Uh, the dark lager. We have a well. The one that we really hang our hat on is we did. Uh, we work with Little Mystery and Fools yeah, Gone Fools Wild. Gone Wild, dog. We, we linked up and we made Pisto. You know, yeah. and, and fuck, man, that thing went bananas. That Damn. that's what kind of got us recognized now in LA because we never fucked around outside of San Diego. Everything we did was always San Diego self distribute. But as soon as we dropped Pisto in LA, that shit sold out in fucking I know. two hours. Bro. I know, dog. It was two hours. Hey, dog. People, there were so many cholos outside the liquor stores. Mm. People thought they were selling Raider tickets. There. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, are they selling Raider tickets right here at this fucking liquor I'm in, store? I'm in, I'm in. <laughs> and, and you know what? Uh, I This is, hey, I'm not telling nobody what to do, but I'm just saying, like, hit the Raiders up, dog. That's I, it, I think P- Fool's Gone Wild Pistol will fucking sell at a Raider game so hard. You know how many motherfucking trollers we went through with the fools gone wild fucking feast room? So come on, defense. We get so many videos defense. that they hey, sent to us already, man. Defense, homes. <laughs> you know what's fucked up, dog? Is, is, is check this out. Is the Raiders have so many Mexicans that are fans and all we do is build fences. How come their defense ain't good? Oof. That's a valid point, fool. That's a valid point. <laughs> You need to clip that one, Tony and Cody. <laughs> Tony and Cody, that's a clip right there, player. Mm-hmm. And you know what else, too? I, I, I said this on your podcast. I don't remember, but I, I, I it became a joke where I was like, how in the fuck is Mexico not good at soccer? Like, we could sneak a fucking million kilos, a million people, but we can't sneak three goals in there. Está pesado, bro. Está pesado. <laughs> clip. Otro que... <laughs> We be clipping today. Right. Clipping. Nah, see, yes, bro. That fool's gone wild pisto, is a, it took on a life of its own. It's a, it's its own thing now. It's bigger than the brewery. It's bigger than anything we've ever done, and it's everywhere. That's so awesome. We brewed it the first time, sold it out in two hours. We doubled the production the second time, sold it out in a weekend. So this time, I think we're doing it again. We're dropping it at the, uh, at the June 24th. June 24th, doggy oh, dog. Fool's gone wild, June 24th, oh. fifth year anniversary, YouTube theater. 6,000 people right? seen, bro. Little Mr. E, uh, the homeboy uh, Cholo Fit. Um, I'm fucking high, everybody. Funk Freaks. You. Me. What's up? And uh, they're, they're doing a documentary, with documentary with Esteban Oreo. Bro, it's, uh, heavy hitter, bro. It's, it's for the Puppet Master Dong, 213, and also the Dove Guy, right? I think so, yeah. Yeah, I'm fucking high, dog. That's a lineup, bro. Right? There's a line where? In my up. Oh. <laughs> All right, look up. <laughs> Will Side Dick Eddie be there? He always brings me up on stage, dog. That's his. That day he goes, hey, dog. I come home, my family trips out. They're like, you really know him? Because, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dog. But, yeah, anyways, man. I'm high, dog. Dale pe, usted dele gas. Like, I'm high and I'm a little, I'm a little fucked up. And uh, Chevez de not de enero, it makes me feel pocho when I say it. Chevez de enero, you gotta. Chevez say de enero. Oof, just like that. There it is. Yeah, but like, I feel like what I gotta give all that effort. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? You know, like it's hard being a cholo mexicano too. But like, what's up? Oh, I'm drinking those Chevez de enero. Chevez de enero. It's great having white people come into the brewery and ask for it. Yeah. Let me get some of that Chevez. I'm like, yeah, you got it. Nah, it's sick, homie. Like it has Chalino right there. You can see the note in his, his pocket. His likeness. We exchanged the gun for a kawama. Yeah. Mm. There it is, man. I don't know, dog. I I, I want to do a beer. This. You say when, man? How about uh? People's Court Child Support. <laughs> Logger. <laughs> People's Court Child Support IPA. And then, and then late. <laughs> Lagger. 
Two G's. Lagger. Done. Yeah. Done. We can do that. <laughs> lagger. Mexican lagger. Because we always lag at people's core and child support. <laughs> <laughs> now, for you know what happened one time, dog? I was all cooked out, and I fucking left my. I was, I was fuck. If I was so cooked out, I, mean, I was cutting lines with my social security card. <laughs> <laughs> That's cooked out. For I was cooked out, cutting lines with my social security card, and I fucking left the card there, dog. No so way. So the fucking Haina, she sold her identity. She sold my identity. Uh-huh. But at that time. I was like, I was barely a comic one year. I was I was working here and there. So I, I owed child support and shit, but like not a lot. And then the person <laughs> that they sold it to was fucking paying the child support with me now. Like the paisa was, <laughs> they were taking child support out of that paisa's check. Pobre vato, pobre vato. <laughs> oh man, when that fool lost his job, my son suffered. It was a, <laughs> it was a setback in the family. <laughs> I had to hit that full up. ¿Qué pasó, güey? ¿Y los pagos? Yeah. ¿Qué no con los pagos? Where my payments go? ¿Cuándo lo vas a mirar conmigo? <laughs> That's actually a good movie, dog. <laughs> Where like a, some fool sells you like fucked up. The worst fucking social and, security but, identity but ever. But you're like, you know what, way? I pay 200 to some kid. I don't know, but I, I'm an a citizen now. I'm a mayor. <laughs> it's worth, the juice is worth the squeeze, fool. Right. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> You don't pay child support. Nah, no. I got three little boys with one baby mama. That's yeah, what's up. We're going to be married 18 years coming up, man. So. Oh, wow. And she supports all the dumb shit that I'm out here doing right now. Well, that's the why podcast, it's been 18 years, dog. CG you could have killed her and got out already. Imagine, dog. Fuck, I can't raise a family on my own, <laughs> fool. I can't raise a family on my own. That's just fucking, that's overwhelming. Nah, she she holds it down for hey. me. Hey, yeah, I know what you mean. I've, uh, I haven't had a baby's mom in 15 years. Serio? I have three of them. Yeah? Actually, I have four. One of them was a threesome. Go ahead. And, uh, <laughs> how does the math work there? Javier? Well, I was I was having a threesome uh-huh. with two chicks. That's how it works. And she was pushing my ass, eh? And <laughs> I couldn't pull out. <laughs> and uh, we made her the Nina. The Nina? <laughs> We made and, her the need not. Yeah. <laughs> nah, but like. Nah, for like, uh, you know what's weird, dog, is like, I think in my head, I was like, damn, man, eh? I always had chicks around my sons. Uh-huh. And these fools now, they do the same shit. That's weird. Not like, not like they got ladies, they got ladies, but when they don't got ladies, it's motherfuckers. My They're getting their ass pushed in, too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right? Like, you're not going anywhere. <laughs> Tres animales. Tres animales. <laughs> che, desde enero. <laughs> right? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I would like to have weed and call it child support. Yeah? Something. I don't know what it is, but like, I don't know. Like, I think child support's a fucking hustle, dog. It has to be a hustle. Child support is like when you give money to the union. The union lends your money out, and then like they get, they do uh, business deals with your money so they can profit. That's what child support does, dog. It's the banking system. Like they get government food and they give you fucking uh, welfare, but you gotta someone has to pay that back. Well, that's in the grant. I don't know, watch out, political George yeah, right GPS now. Dog. Right now. <laughs> GPS getting political on us. <laughs> My name is George Perez, and I'm running for city council. Right. <laughs> What's up? My name is George Perez, and I'm running from the city. <laughs> Vote for me. I couldn't do that shit, dog. I, I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know how to be like under pressure. No, fool, you do it already. Now, that's different. Why? Man, I'm fucking high. I think there's an earthquake. <laughs> Northridge. Just, yeah. Uh, I, like, imagine dog reporters like, there's 200,000 missing from the fund, and you bought a yacht, George, and took a trip to Florida with 15, 30 year olds? <laughs> 15, 30 year olds. Like, bitch, you know my wife's right here? <laughs> You're going to ask me this shit in front of my wife, bitch? I'm the mayor. <laughs> I'd be like I'd be like a fucked up mayor, dog. Por qué, güey? I don't know, cause like you know what, dog? Hey, check. Hey, a I'm ver, so a glad ver. we're on this topic. A ver. I think people invite homeless people 
to the neighborhood so they can buy the house at low value. There it is. That's and, a, and an th- that's why I, I'm tr- like I'm telling. I remember someone in uh, downtown LA. They were like, "I can't fucking wait to get the fuck out of there, man!" Like, there's so many bums. And I was just like, "Dog, there's gonna be bums everywhere you go, and it's cheap." Once those bums jam, yeah. imagine if the bums left downtown LA, dog. Okay, how much would those pads go for now? <laughs> at a comma. That's all I'm trying yeah, to say. Like for sure, dog. If you could walk your dog in downtown LA on Skid Row and they fucking sandblasted the concrete dog, they fucking had Roseanne Barr out there with fucking <laughs> Rosie O'Donnell, double Rosie player. All the Rosies. Yeah, just now, I'm rubbing Rosie too. the shit. They had the cartel with the fucking super soaker fucking, <laughs> and they cleaned it, dog. Super soaker. I mean, imagine if they did that shit in San Diego. Yeah, yeah, it's getting bad down there, too. It's getting bad down there too, man. I don't I know mean, what Skid Row looks like up here, but down there it's pretty homie, bad. Homie, yeah. Skid Row is otro pel. Dog, I fucking I leave my wallet in the car, player. When I walk down Skid Row, I see it, pelado. You're gonna kill me, player. You're gonna get these eighty cents. <laughs> you're gonna earn them. <laughs> you're doing life for eighty cents. Oh man, I think about that shit. Ready for mayor? That's the thing. No, you think I, about. No, I remember one time I wanted to kill this fool. All right. Because he socked the shit out of me, dog, and it was my fault. <laughs> and I was just sitting there going, oh, man. Because I was dancing with this lady, and I went to kiss her, and she kissed me, but she had a man, and that fool hit me. And then that fool was locked up on my homie. He was like, hey, dog, that's this lady you kissed. Hey, this is my bed. We did fucking 12 years together. Keep it cool for me. And I was just sitting there going, damn me. <laughs> <laughs> but this is what he taught me patience, dog. Cause uh, that fool was like fuck, like he was like mad at his bitch, and, and then I remember I was like fucking twenty eight, twenty nine, and this fool was like fucking. He was mad. Hey, he's fuck you. He was too hard. He's like, I'm not gonna stay here after my lady kissed another motherfucker in front of me, and he left. And then she was just like, Hey, I got a car. And I was like, What? <laughs> it was crazy, dog. You know what's fucked up? Is when you do fucked up shit to your lady, she goes out and bones someone real good that day. All right. <laughs> <laughs> That's a thing. <laughs> yeah, it's a thing, dog. Hug your lady every time she leaves. Your, make that a shirt. Hug your lady before you leave All the right. house. <laughs> Even if you're fighting, but look, you bitch, don't go bone no more. Before please. I left, I was like, we got the ammo. Yeah. <laughs> you came stretched out the other week. <laughs> yeah, I, like, this fool was mean to her, dog. Like, it was weird, like, she bowed me like three times, dog. In the car, way. No, we went back to my house. Ah, okay, perdón. but I didn't have a car. Mm. Like I had a car, but I didn't. You had a house, but not a car. When I was twenty eight, I didn't. I didn't have a house till I was thirty. Uh huh. Like that was the transition where I was just like, I left my baby's mom. Was like, fuck this, nothing stopping me. All in. Yeah, because when you have a baby's mom and like, I, like. I was being a dad, and, like, it was hard, for us. She'd be mad and shit. Why you come home at 4 in the morning? I'm like, bitch, I just sold out the improv. Mm. No support, then, is what you're telling <laughs> yeah, me. Yeah, here's rent. Support. You know what I mean? That bitch wanted me there with her mm. so she could FaceTime her friends and be like, yeah, look, he with me. <laughs> he with me. Like, is yours with you? Is your- <laughs> it's yours with you? <laughs> Your lady don't FaceTime? Nah, I don't leave, bro. Ah, so I'm the long dog. I'm super Monday long. And I get up early, go to work, and then I run all the errands at the house I need to do the bar, the brewery, the podcast, and I'm back home taking these kids to jujitsu, taking them to boxing, taking them to Little League. Todo el pelo. We and you fucking busy. run a bar and yeah. you work for UPS. We, and UPS, bro. Fuck. Fuck. And dog. then I heard you sell fucking uh, baptism suits on the side. When dog. needed. When needed. <laughs> when we got to tap into that side side hustle, we sell baptism hey, suits. Hey, were you bro. that fool, though, that, that had a big old baptismo for your kids, huh? Al contrario, bro. No. As a matter of fact, that's the biggest pelo right now of my in-laws after 18 years is that I didn't marry my wife at a church. They got butt hurt, fool. Wow. Where'd they you got, marry her? Uh, we, at the park. We got <laughs> We got married at Balboa Park at the Friendship Garden. Very nice. You're a bice of hard. Uh, Bices get married right, at the dude. park. You know, there's ducks. Right? There's, that there was koi. Koi fish, fool. Right, there was yeah. koi fish. One of my primos got drunk. got thrown into the pool. I had to pay for the fucking koi fish, bro. Damn, you guys made ceviche out of it? Yeah, fool. Good ass ceviche, too. But yeah, I mean, look. I, I, wife, my wife's mom told me, like, mi mija se merece una boda en inglés. And my daughter deserves a church marriage. And I was like, it's not going to happen. 
I was a, I was a jerk. But you don't believe in church marriage? I don't believe in churches, bro. I believe, okay, I feel yeah, you. You know, so my kids aren't baptized, nothing like that. I did the whole shit, bro. I was baptized. I was confirmed. Um, all the shit, bro. Todo el pedo. Primera comunión. Yeah. yeah, but for me, I don't know. I ain't, I ain't about that. I ain't about that. It's. I feel it you, doesn't dog. appeal to me. You know, I don't want to fucking to put do my it. Kid. Yeah, why? Because I was living with them. It wasn't. Yeah. My, I didn't have my house yet. Yeah. <laughs> I was living with my baby. I've had some, some successful baby moms. Yeah? Now nah, you know what? One of them. Yeah. <laughs> no, oh, yeah, there's always the one. <laughs> yeah. No, and I, fit, I mean, I I didn't. Die. They did, you know? I had to show up. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But I was like, nah. It's fucked. You know what's fucked up is motherfuckers get mad at you for just not believing in God. Mm-hmm. Like, like. What what if I just don't believe there's some fool out there keeping track? Like it's that's just hard. Taking though. notes. You know? Over overlooking everything. Like how do you make mistakes and not make mistakes? Mm. So you believe in God or no? Nah. Not at all? Hell no. I believe in a God. I just don't believe in the religion. You just don't part. know which one yeah, it is? Yeah, there's probably been a lot of them out there for For real? Uh, you uh, think El Malverde, bro? You think God is like you know, soda? There's a lot of flavors. <laughs> different flavors. You know, I just yo, think the Dr. Pepper God is hard. There's one top dog. There's one <laughs> top dog and a bunch there of other generals. There has to be one top. And then there's a bunch of other generals there. But, but when it comes to gods, you can't have those because they're going to want to take you over. Mm. It's kind of like X-Men player. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. This, these are choloisms right I'm now. I'm ready. I'm listening. Like, like to me, I can always argue. Like, all right, okay. There, so there's a god. How? Take notes, Barry. You know, I mean, like, and and but see, I know what God is there for. It's it's a discipline. It's a program. A, a, a religion is like when someone learns to play the instrument. That discipline that you learn to gather to be perfect at that makes you successful and a lot of mormons and christians and like people that are deep into faith are successful because of just that work type of like get up pray and now you're mentally cleansing yourself and then boom you're not doing drugs and shit so you're like oh shit and then you're Focus. like and then at the end you're like thanks god because <laughs> of you you gave me this power all along it was you feel good and then, you know, and then fucking I come along to the party and shit with four bitches and Go some ahead. coke. And mm. I'm like, fuck God, they do, do a bump off of me, eh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I don't know. <laughs> uh, but you know what, though? Like, my kids, I, I, I tell them, hey, if you want to believe in that shit, go ahead. Mm-hmm. I'm not here to, I'm just like, this is me. Because, you know, some people think, like, when you die, like, God has enough time to run the universe, the world, the planet, everything that's ever been built, and then, like, greet you. Hey, right now there's a disaster going on in Syria. There's people getting shot. There's all kinds of shit going on, but you died. So welcome to heaven. Come on in. Welcome to heaven. Te la bienvenida, What the fuck? You want me to believe that shit? <laughs> like, there's no line. Hey, dog, there's, there's been lines to every. The, the heaven's just, like, automatic. Beep. What happens when we die, then? That's it. Bro. That's a wrap. Fuck. You ever you ever see a movie mm-hmm. on VHS and you play it and it just goes and it just turns off and, and then it goes snow. That's what happens. You that's just turn it off. It sucks. Yeah. That's the fucked up shit of having what we have. It's gone. It's su- if I think about it all the time, but that's why I. That's the selfishness of me. But I just want to fucking be remembered, dog. So that's why. I do comedy and I love it because if my shit's good enough and I want to leave shit out there, fools are going to be like fucking 80 years from now, there's going to be a cholo like me like, hey, this motherfucker right here, dog. Shut that fuck, bro. I was down. 12 when I heard that song, shut the fuck mm-hmm. up and give me a bone. And yeah. I looked up to a comedian like that, a Mexican comedian, se llamaba R.I.P. Polo Polo. So yeah, he, Polo yeah, Polo. So he just well, passed away, huh? He just passed away maybe like, what, a few months ago. I remember being little, dog, like eight years old, seven, six years old. And the one thing that we, I remember about church is what happened outside of church. So you go into church, and it's like an hour and 15 minutes of some dude telling you how to do shit. And then at the end, you go outside, and it's like a swap meet. You know, so in Barrio Logan, we used to go to... Uh, our Lady of Guadalupe right there in Barrio Logan. And outside, it was a bunch of tents outside. So you buy buy shit. I would buy Charino tapes, Los Tucanes tapes, Tigres tapes. 
and Polo Polo comedy tapes, bro. No and way. I put them shits in there. I listened to Little Guy, fool. And I just remember listening to all this raunchy, like, just nasty-ass comedy. And I fucking loved it, bro. And I all loved right. it. And to this day, I'll be like, oh, Polo Polo this. And he was like, what? Who's that? It's like, fucking look Polo Polo up. He's out. He was like the Mexican Richard Pryor, like the Mexican George Carlin. Bro. Yeah, yeah. No, I know. hilarious, you know? Hey, uh, what does this mean? <laughs> Tinga la pinga. Yeah. yeah. What's that? Toma, wey. Toma, vergas. Like, it, 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 but it all, it all, it I, could mean anything. Yeah, like, <laughs> hey, you want to go to fucking Carl's Jr.? Okay, okay. You know? Please explain all okay. the other terms. No, right. what, what did that mean right now? Fuck you. I don't want to go don't fucking know there, bro. I want to go to Taconazo, bro. Wanna, you know, like, whatever. You know, like, that's what I want. It's almost like a forget about it, you know? Oh, it's like a forget, forget about, about it. But the hard hey, go. Hey, te la cogiste, wey? Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like, shh. Or, I see the pelado. I say that shit for everything because I mean, I see the pelado. How was your day? I see the pelado. Um, did you get everything done? I see the pelado. Like, it's just a, it's just an overwhelming word. It just takes care of a lot of meanings, bro. Okay. If you're fucking high, you're on a sick one, or you don't want to uh. talk, you just answer, I see the pelado. I see the pelado. And that's it. Mm-hmm. Mexicanisms, bro. I got them too. Oh, Paisaisms. Paisaisms, <laughs> dog. Paisaisms. I got choloisms yep. and shit. Like, I, all right. Well, we're going to choloism back into ism. Lism. And we're back like a hood rat in the Cadillac waiting for the Sizzag. George Prince Stories is also brought to you by Taco Naso. That's right, guys. Taco Naso. The best fish taco in California. The best ceviche, shrimp cocktail. These fools got everything. Don't, don't punch a squid outside. Cut it up. Put it in your bowl like fresh right there. Nah. They get down. Taco Naso. Hey, man. They got... I go there. They got. They got. They got. A ver. Mira, wait, What's the order? What's the order? Welcome to Taco Nasso. Oh, when I go to Taco Nasso, dog, I'm like, all right, let me get uh, two tostadas de ceviche, Oof. Uh, taco de papa, taco de beans, and a fucking the cueritos, dog. Go ahead. Oh, the white Look ones, you, right? Hey, Ooh. homie. Then I get they. They got like the salsa. That's like orange. All right. All right. And I'm from Orange County. It makes sense. Perfect so sense. Like, eh. You know, hey, I, I remember I had a pickup line. I told this girl, I'm like, hey, uh, if you be, you like to dance salsa? She's like, yeah. I'm like, well, I like chips. So why don't you let me dip? Oy, she was like, I'm going to call the security guard on <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to ask you to stop doing that, sir, please. <laughs> Pero, taco Nazo, I have, well, I'm getting hungry now. Yeah, dog, no, Taco Nazo, guys. Make sure uh, you check them out. They got locations at La Puente, Bellflower, and Ruling Heights, and new one coming to Orange County soon, everywhere. Check them out. Also, we got a new one, guys. Uh, yo, homie, it was, it was my son's birthday on a Saturday, and uh, my homeboy hit me up. He goes, hey, have you ever been to La, La Venedita? La Venedita. Okay. And I was like, I've heard of it. I heard that, like, hey, dog, there's a line to get in. Okay, what is the restaurant? The one at Car- no, it's a carnicería. Carnicería? Oh, La Venedita. No, Venedita. Yeah. All right, all right. All hey, right. homie. Go ahead, go ahead. Dog. Next level shit. They gave me, like, Joe Rogan chickens. <laughs> Like, like you can tell, like, like these chickens came with dumbbells, player. <laughs> like, <laughs> Kettle, kettlebells in the like cuello. They had UFC on the feathers. Though. <laughs> like, <laughs> hey, it was like healthy chicken marinated, like, and then their ranchera meat dog is the best I've ever had in my life. I'm not lying to you, homie. All right, all right. Because check this out. Okay. We drank two bottles of tequila, pisto, and then ate. And then that made everything go away normal, like no headache. It was like, like remember we were talking about limitless. Yeah. It was like that. Like after you ate their food, it was like the limitless pill came. You're like, what the fuck, homie? I'm all good now. I am. A la venadita, bro. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> hey, homie, they had ceviche, but like, I I go to the store, dog, and like it's like only cholos that were on a level four prison yard worked there. It right. was <laughs> so it was secure. It, it was just <laughs> if you trip, you knew something was gonna happen. And like it was spotless Best player. Best behavior, oh. spotless player. Like they had the fruit. The fruit looked bomb. <laughs> like 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 you know when you go somewhere and all the cucumbers are like. 
they got the ugly ones with the ugly ones and the cute ones with the cute ones. Like it's like they're segregated. Sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Like, they segregated the fruit. Like, hey, homie, and they were in baskets, like, old school. Like, yeah. if if you had a store, be, you would have it. At your, La venadita, bro. That's hey, the, homie, and, like, all the butchers, homie. Did you ever go to a meat marketplace? And, like, those motherfuckers have, like, fucking sangre on yeah. them and fuck. It's like proof that we're getting down back here. Yeah, like this full water to a yeah. soccer game. Like, <laughs> like I fuck you get cleat marks on that dog. <laughs> 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 now, nah, homie, over there, dog, shh, that was like a traje. That foot was like a chambelan. Chambelan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. For reals, dog. Oh. He was just right there. Shh. Ballroom dancer for the yeah, white. Hey, Ballroom yeah, dancer, hey. chambelan. Perfect cut on mm. on on carne ranchera and marinated homie was the marinade like like if if they put the meat in front of Mayweather and he Oof. had and his gloves were made out of fucking just marinated spices he was just lemon Oof. and beer and orange juice and sal and pimienta ajo cebolla boom just like all that, that. all and, that shit. and then like they cut the orange on it but like it was a good orange. Oof. You know what I'm saying? It came from the good patch. Yeah. All right. Like, this orange is from Florida, homie. All right. Damn, that's what the good orange is. <laughs> that's the only good thing over in yeah. Florida brings us, bro. Like, yo, you're getting carne asada with the... Fl- and then, like, they decorated it. They put, like, all this little cilantro, little thing yeah, right yeah, there to yeah. make it look bomb. And it was package player. And then they gave me, like, a fucking... I learned this from you, dog. These motherfuckers gave me, like, a fucking... Like you remember in uh, Hannibal Lecter where that fool hangs that fool by his appendix out the fucking window. All right, okay. Like they gave me that, but chorizo like that. Oh long. man! <laughs> 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 All the links. <laughs> yeah, homie, that shit was long, player. And then I remember, what was the name of the spot we went? Salud, Salud, yeah, Taco? Salud Taco. Salud Taco. He he gave me a nopal with the chorizo and queso taco dog. Nopal. Chorizo y queso. That's Aztec taco, right? An Aztec taco? I don't know what the fuck. Like, I felt like an Aztec when I ate it. Like, I, want, I, want, <laughs> I wanted to carry somebody wanted, over my hood. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to work on a pyramid. <laughs> Pero yeah, I forgot what I was saying. I'm fucked up, eh? La venadita. Oh, yeah, la venadita, dog. <laughs> hey, man, uh, I'm going to start shopping there from now on. Like, nice. Yeah. That's like, the spot now. It's a trip when you go shopping and it becomes an experience. Oh, bro. Because I, I real, hey, homie, they got an elk there. Venison, elk, all the Yeah, what things. is it called? Ven- venado? Ven- venado is a deer. Venison. What's yeah. an elk in Spanish? Elk. Elk. <laughs> <laughs> you got me there, fool. I don't know what the fucking elk is in Spanish. <laughs> you know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, no. He's a, it's su primo, güey. Wait, wait. <laughs> No, Eric Casas, I don't know how that happened. How the fuck does that work? <laughs> this is a fucking great question. <laughs> Go ahead. What What the fuck is an elk in Spanish? I don't know. Look that shit up, fool. Look it up. La elk. carne de Joe Rogan. See? <laughs> the, I need the Rogan cut. Yeah. That's all that fool eats. That must be good eating. No, me. he eats other shit, but el- I heard elk is like. Top tier. Top Second tier. to none, bro. It's like, it. you don't even need Viagra if you eat Ooh, elk. Tell me more. <laughs> I'm scared to eat elk. I don't know. Yeah, I never had for it. it. You don't want to have superpower George come yeah. out. Yeah, I don't want. I don't want to do cocaine to sleep. Oh. <laughs> yeah, well, I'll eat some elk. I'll eat some elk. I'll take so a much snack. protein in there, bro. Elk jerky brought to you by George. And I heard it's real fucking good. Like, but I don't know. I'm weird, dog. I don't even eat pussy for. I just mad dog it. Yeah. <laughs> Bad look. I just mad dog pussy up. So bitch. <laughs> All right. What's up? Alce. That's how you say elk. Alce. Alce? All right. All right. We I'm learned living. something, homie. Okay. Only on GPS. Right? <laughs> I taught a paisa Spanish word. You did, fool. You, when uh, you hit me with the word. But you're elk a citizen, Spanish? fool. Yeah, but what's a fucking an elk in Spanish? Yeah, but we're border town citizens. Vos otro pedo allá abajo, bro. How is that being a border town citizen? I love it. That's all I know. You know, I love that there's the culture is the same on both sides of the border when you're that close to the border. There's no like you cross over and it's oh shit you know it's it's not it's the same. Well, lifestyle. the lights and the streets and the water oh, system, bro, are but, very the, but the community and the food okay. and the culture is so tropeza, bro. For me, yeah. I love it, and that's why like, 
People are like, you never leave Chula Vista. I was like, no, I love it. I feel I feel good down here. I think Little Darlings and uh, Hong Kongs are very different. I would agree. <laughs> 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 it's la verdad. TJ is like the cheapest Vegas you could ever go to. Cheapest Vegas, old school Vegas, downtown Vegas. Like, but that's not like far from America, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Like, you can go to Taiwan and fucking it's ruthless. But I don't want to fucking go to Taiwan. Mm-hmm. Fuck right here in Vegas, Tijuana, dog. Tijuana's right there, fool. You know what whatever I mean? you ever wanted is there. Anything, whatever you need is there, except for what freedom. And Tijuas, you just gotta you take gotta. the five. Oh, yeah. That's you got to find a way yeah. to get on the five freeway, huh? And the, Is that the closest freeway to the border? That is the freeway from the border. Wow. Yeah. You have to get on the five to get Unless alive. you cruise as a notai, bro. Uh, oh, yeah. Five, then it just takes you on the fucking toll road. And then you end up oh, in Orange shit. County like that. Yeah? Like fucking quick. That's like the Coyote that charges a lot. Oh, yeah. Bro, bro, that's, Chula Vista? that's VIP service. Or Quieres Irving. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> In Irvine, wait, nada. No oh, pasa yeah. nada. Todo, mira. In Irvine. Ah! <laughs> Pelado in Irvine, perro. Is, is, is the Border Patrol hot right there in Chula Vista? Border Patrol is all Mexicans now, fool. It's, 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 it's weird. It's, it's a whole different. I have a, I have a couple of homies who are Border Patrol agents, and they tell me how much they're hated in this. And I'm like, it's a job you chose, man. You know. Yeah. So is it hot? Nah. They, they don't fuck around with too much. They tell me that they don't really do much of anything, bro. That people are just crossing the border. But he says that unless you're Mexican, then you get sent back. If you're not Mexican and you uh, apply for amnesty, they let you stay. But Mexicans all get the U-turn back home. It's crazy. Yeah. You know, it's fucked up. Like, what if you get caught and you only have two feet across? Do you have to go through the book? You know, they're just like, get back. Then bujan, dog. They do, they ta- <laughs> do they just be like, go back, fool? Or do they, they take you in and report you? Being a law-abiding citizen of the United States, I do not know the answer to that, oh, George. Okay. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> right? I'm fucking buzzed. My cat right here. Look, look at my cat's yeah. acting like a fucking... He's the protector, bro. Right? Me. Like, yo. You have pets? I have one dog, yes. What's his name? my stout. Stout? Little, little French bulldog, fool. Okay. And he's... he's that motherfucker, he's from Guadalajara. Oh, yeah, shit. So he's on that Canelo juice because he is cut. He it's has like freckles, so, eh? Yeah. He's, <laughs> <laughs> he's a redhead. No, he, he's fucking yoked, bro. That's I've, what's I've seen, up. I've seen little French bulldogs, and they're all cerdos, like little fatties, and all the rolls. But this one is, he's cut and yoked. I mean, we walk him, we're like, oh, fuck. We look, yeah. we, look, we look gangster as fuck walking this big ass dog when we're not. It's like the size of your cat, bro. That's your oh, kid. No? Bro. You look, little guy. Uh, but yeah. I heard they're dope, right? They're dope, man. The kids love they're it. They're expensive, yeah. aren't they? Uh, it fell off a truck. But yeah. The, the <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the kids love them, man. They, they uh, like their little best friend and shit. Yeah, I can't have a dog. I don't have a backyard, eh? No? No. Like, like this fool's going to think he's locked up. Every, everything's concrete. <laughs> Everything. <laughs> You know what I mean? <laughs> right, he's gonna be like, man, this motherfucker never sleeps. <laughs> we go. He's gonna get mad on the walks we go on. <laughs> hey, but you know what? The, a dog. I, I think all druggies should have dogs. Companionship. Yeah, like because that fool's gonna walk everywhere, player. I I've seen tweakers with dogs, like like in a special Kovika wrap they made, and the dog just with their chill. Like, we good. <laughs> That's some shit. Do you, man, I don't know why, but homeless people with pets fucking get me mad, eh? I heard por qué? Cuz, dog, like, that fool's around drugs all day. Like, what if he licks a needle once or something? Oh, shit. I don't, like, I just think about, like, that's fucked up. Things that have never crossed my mind. <laughs> what if a cat licks a needle? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, like, what if that dog now always wants to go just to lick those needles and he's hooked and shit? Oof. I don't know. He's all sucking other dogs' dicks. <laughs> Show me where the needles are. Where the needles <laughs> at? Didn't you maniac dog? All right. <laughs> so what's cracking? What's going on for the future of the Emo Brown podcast? Because ever since I've been on, you kept heavy hitters, dog. Sweet like way. you keep it going. Yeah. You just had concrete on. We had concrete. Jesus we had Los, Sepulveda, yeah, Sepulveda, Sepulveda, Jerry Garcia. Jerry Garcia, uh, El Pinchy J. Valentino. Okay. And then El Compa también, Alfredo, Alfredo Robles. And uh, yeah, it's weird. It was a string of just talent that stopped by the podcast, bro. Uh-huh. And yeah, we, we it's 
it's hard to stop and, and go back the other way now. So it's like we, there's a lot of pressure to keep it going. But I got we have a killer squad. This is it right here. Yeah. Like, this is the squad. I got the Pinchi Casas, Pericasas. We call them in the streets. And then we call Barry Jasbera. We got these guys, and that's all I need. And we, we make it work. Hey, you, I like your guys' method, too, because uh, a lot of uh, Hollywood, L.A. talent doesn't really come to San Diego mm -hmm. to do podcasts. It's mm -hmm. far, but... You guys always catch everybody that's performing in Barrio de Corazón or yeah. Corazón de Barrio. Like, it's smart. I see, I see your player. There it is, bro. Hey, you know what we got to use the tools that we have, man. And if that's if that's what we have at, dis at our disposal, access to acts that are coming to Corazón del Barrio, uh -huh. well, we want to dip into that pool. And uh -huh. it's been nothing but great. You know? That's what's up. We well, so when is Mario Lopez going to do it? He's from oh, Chula Vista. Wait, we're trying. What's up, Mario? What are you at? Represent the city, player. player. <laughs> yeah, man. Use your Did powers. Did you know him? We no. No, you moved it later. Yeah, I moved it later. He's like a yeah. lady, like eight on. <laughs> no, but hey, his his handprint is all over Chula Vista, bro. Yeah, yeah properties here, family all over the place. And what, Chula Vista, everybody. Did he go smart. to junior high there, high school, and everything? Yeah, bro, he went to Chula Vista High. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Do they did they retire his locker and all that shit? I don't know. Fool. I didn't went to. I didn't go to that school. What school? I did went you go to, to Bonita High School. Bonita, out the other side of Chula What's Vista. What's that Bonita Apple Bomb? Uh, you, you gotta, gotta give put me some. Me yeah. <laughs> no, see, Bonita's on the There's other side. black girls at your school? Nothing but white girls. Oh, wow. White girls, fresas. Actually, no. You know, <laughs> it's bonita, güey. It's muy bonita. <laughs> it's chula vista. All right. You know what I'm saying? But uh, now, nah, Bonita School was, uh, Bonita High School was voted the most diverse high school in the nation when I was there. So it was a little everything, bro. Yeah? Yeah, everything. That's it was, cool. It was, it was awesome. My high school yeah. was like that, too. All we, right. Like, I remember, I, I never seen an Indian. Until like seventh grade, player. Oh, really? Then I went to high school and I was like, what the fuck? What's a Cambodian? What's a Cambodian? <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> they're discovering fucking new cultures. Like, what the fuck is this? Yeah, <laughs> like a Cambodian is like when like a white person first sees a El Salvador and they're like, what you mean you're not Mexican, Puerto Rican, <laughs> Dominican, <laughs> or Bra I'm in the middle. <laughs> you're Salvadorian. You had to cross two borders? <laughs> I don't know. I just, just I, I don't know. I think about it like that. Like in the Middle East, what's here and what's there? Like who never gets to fight each other because they're too far? What would it be in the Middle East? Jordan and Sabra Dios, bro. It's, very, it's all very close. Huh? It's all very close. <laughs> the Middle East is like New York. Like fuck these motherfuckers so close to us. It's Bros packed. And shit. It's hot <laughs> as fuck. There's no parking. <laughs> <laughs> But they got that oil money, dog. Yeah, that's different. It's a, that's a different yeah. universe. One night I was all coked out and I was just like, why does the Middle East constantly get attacked? Because mm. they have all the oil. There it is. And holy land. Yeah. And holy land. I like how all these stories start. One night I was really coked out. <laughs> and then the, and then this happened. But like, <laughs> But think about this too. Egypt has more holy land. Is, is Egypt in the Middle East or is that Africa? It's that's Africa. That's northern. Is Africa. it a different continent? Continent? No. It's like right above it. It's crazy. It's like it's like USA and Mexico, huh? Middle East is Asia. Okay, Middle East is Asia. Saca la mapa, bro. Saca right. el globo. <laughs> Yo, today on Choloism, we're gonna fucking learn how far Iraq and Iran is. Eh? <laughs> Ah, you see Jordan, Jordan, they don't make the shoes there. <laughs> Jordan, Jordan's like fucking baller, huh? I guess back in real life. Yeah, no, uh, like Jordan, the the country, the state. It's a isn't Jordan the country. a country? Okay, yeah. it's baller. Like, isn't it baller? Like, I think it's doesn't USA much. have an embassy there and shit? Every every country out there got money. It's yeah, crazy. Not yeah, but those folks, not Syria don't got money. I'm sure somebody got money in there. That shit. Damn. And I am not we're, hating we're, on we're anything. We're going deep with George today, bro. Yeah, fuck it. We're crossing borders on it. Literally, man. Right? Fuck. Uh, today we were, we found an article, and the, they're called the Terohan tribe, and they're in Indonesia. And the they, Terohan? Yeah. And what they do is when, when your family members die, every year after that, they take you out of the coffin, they dress you up. To put a fucking cigarette in your mouth if you were like a, a militant general or whatever they get you dressed up suited and booted in your military outfit with your country cheat they dig you back up and every yeah. fucking year bro every year they bring hey, even up if you're just bones it doesn't matter bro 
It doesn't matter. They they recognize that's that every story has a beginning and an end, and they're not afraid of it. They they just freaking you know they they don't believe together. in rest in peace. They get rest. <laughs> <laughs> they really rest for for three hundred sixty four days. They can't just zoom in. Shit, man. And it's trippy. It's trippy. We'll send you that link later so you can see it. Just the way they're dressed up, man. Oh shit, man! I like the way you get down here. This is fucking yeah. Welcome freeform. to George Perez Studios. Yeah, this Our is GPS, shit, bro. Like you just go with the flow, do your yeah. thing, and we'll handle it after. Yeah, man. So, so each what you one think? of these albums has a special part, place in your heart. Nah, not a special place in my heart, but like a. I will know every time I look at one of these albums where I got it from, mm. and some are easy, simple online, but most of them are like. Damn, dog, I was in Fontana. This fool hit me up on an offer up, said he had these albums. And I just went out there and took chances. And I fucking came up on a lot of shit. These are hard finds, dog. Most of these are original prints. That Vicente Fernandez one looks hard as fuck. Oh, that motherfucker. With Vicky Carr. Hell yeah, dog. That shit right there is... Uh, that, that mu- that's the first time you ever had a Snapple. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Los yeah. Tigres, the Norte, right there. You know there, what I dog? realize about Mexicans? Our music taste, it just crosses all the fucking genres. We're on every spectrum. Yeah. You know, because we grew up listening to our regional shit. The Vicente Fernandez, the Antonio Aguilares, the Los Tucanes, Banda, Corrido, all that shit. And then, boom, you got a little bit of whatever, dog. Richard Pryor, comedy, you know? You, you got a little bit of, of that funk you hanging Danzig, out. Danzig, Metallica, Danzig, Metallica, Black bro. Sabbath, Iron Maiden, Suicidal, Lamb of God, uh-huh. System of a Down, Snoop. S- Cypress Hill. Cypress Hill, you know? Brother Lynch Hung, Mac Dre, Biggie. Look at that, bro. Mary Wells. Just no Jay Mary. Dilla. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I might hate on Jay Dilla, but I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Cut that one out. <laughs> <laughs> nah, keep that <laughs> one. <laughs> Highlight it. Bing. The double. <laughs> yeah, nah. Like, I'm not a hater, but I just could never, like, smoke weed and do cocaine and listen to common mm. like yeah. <laughs> there are times when we need now nah, i'm cool that fucking i need to do a fucking bump dog and listen to too short and he's like bitch mm. you gotta i don't know what it degree. like put on some fucking ramon ayala yeah, you know piquito de oro that's see for me that's where i that's what gets me hype mexican music you know if i'm drinking or if we're smoking whatever if we're happy if we're sad you know it doesn't matter you put a little ramon ayala you put in a little fucking i don't know pichil commander right you never boned the jodeci dog jodeci no bro i can honestly tell you no no, never boned a bobby brown tampoco bro he sweat nah fool you're like, yeah, nah, fool. Uh, Fucking Pennywise. Los Bukis. Yeah, Los Bukis. Los, <laughs> <laughs> los Temerarios, bro. Uh, shit like B-side that. B-side players. See, oh, you know, San Diego. Shit like that. Fool. Okay. All from, okay. from the hood down there. Is Are you like just fucking San Diego pride? I, I I love our community, bro. You know, I love our community. More, more for uh, Chula Vista and the South Bay area uh-huh. just because of... You know, like we were talking earlier, there's some talent coming out of Chula Vista. Yeah, you know, there's, there's a, a lot, lot of, of talent. There's a lot of focus on, on, on Chula Vista and it being like a border town. You can't get to San Diego unless you go through Chula Vista. You can't ta- get to LA unless you go through Chula Vista. So it's like, it, it means a lot to be like that, bridging the gap between one culture and another. And I right. said, Chula Vista is, is spice as fuck. It's white as fuck. It's, it's all cultures as fuck. It's Everything. A, it's very nice. That's what Home Depot, like. Office all Depot, them. and Tiffany's. At the same place. Right. <laughs> In the same <laughs> plaza. <laughs> so we got a Whole Foods and like a homey foods. We got Whole Foods and you got Food for Less, bro. Yeah. Right there, right next to each other. That's what's up. Man. Whole Foods. You know what's fucked up is food has become like clothing. Go ahead. Like, if you want a real motherfucking apple, that's Versace money. Oof. That, you know, hey, Versace money is Versace food. Like, what the fuck, bitch? Like, right? It's, Organic. It's, yeah, it's fucking some fucked up shit. Like, like, think about it, dog. Like, you ever drink Sunny Delight and be like, damn, this orange juice sucks. Yeah. And then you go to the f- some fucking Mexicans walking down the street with the car. And they're like, well, so you want some orange juice? And they cut the orange in half and they squeeze that motherfucker, yeah. dog. And you're just like, what the f-? Even Even your organs, your body's like, Thank oh, you. my God. We've been yeah. waiting for this organic juice for quite some time. Yeah, yeah. that's some crazy shit. <laughs> I don't know. You ever eat pussy and that shit happens to you? You're like... 
Yeah, this is some Dollar Tree pussy. Can't say that I have. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I cannot say that I have, my friend. <laughs> I need to give me some motherfucking, at least some Norse from Wreck. <laughs> mm, this is some Ross pussy. Ross, you, this shit is old. <laughs> <laughs> and on discount pool. <laughs> oh, then you're just like, oh shit, this is some Whole Foods pussy, man. This pussy came with a clipboard. <laughs> I don't. I, I go off track, but I lo- hey, I'm watching yeah. you. Bro. I'm learning. I've I've ate some pussy that I've liked sometimes. Go ahead. But then I've ate some pussy that's just like, oh, Oof. It, 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 act, just, it activates a Aztec warrior in you, bro. No, because like, I was like, damn, this bitch probably fucked somebody before me. Oh, I like that. Or this bitch plays soccer and just didn't take a shower. <laughs> like, there's a chemical in here. Something, there's something that dog, We get that shit. Like, if you worked a whole shift, uh-huh. took a piss, dog, fucking... Played a little handball with your homies in lunch break. A little Man. sweat came. You know exactly how UPS works, bro. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you, just, you just broke UPS all the way fucking down. <laughs> you got dick sweat now. There's a, there's moisture. You can't just come home and... I know you got skin full. Yeah. You can't, you can't just come home, pull the skin back, and your lady's like... Sir, I am circumcised. What kind of barbarian? No way. Yeah, you have insurance? Whatever, bro. How way? Well, dog. Yeah, your devil's in the union. You know, I forgot. I'm telling you, yeah. <laughs> you Only the best. <laughs> No, I'm not full. They got I got the fucking You got that it's that fucking turtleneck all year round, huh? It's like the pyramids, dog. Uh-huh. Nobody knows who built it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's what I think of foreskin. Like nobody knows who really built this shit. It was just there when we got here. <laughs> but I'm proud of that shit, dog. As you should be, fool. As you like, should be. No matter what. When you pull the skin back, I at least got one rib. Go it, like, you ever play football and, you, and it got a neck roll? Yeah. That's how my dick looks. <laughs> <laughs> that's a weird-looking dick. <laughs> oh, that's a clip. <laughs> I'm, I'm writing jokes tonight. I love it. Like, think about it, dog. Imagine, like, your dick. You got just, Lorenzo Neal as a dick, fool. <laughs> your dick comes out looking like Romanowski yeah, when, he, when he was in Denver, dog. <laughs> The dirty Romanowski. Yeah, it's a fumalito, bro. It was a maniac, yeah. bro. See now, your dick, your dick mm. looks oh. like a wide receiver yeah. with like the nice. My shit looks like Jerry on. Rice, fool. Ah. You know what I mean? <laughs> He's always gonna get open, fool. Catching a lot of balls. <laughs> Come on, oh, <laughs> El Pito. Right. Huh? No, so I have three boys. Oh shit! And I and I tell people like, hey, how do you make boys? And it's like you gotta eat a banana right before, and you gotta keep your socks on. You gotta, you gotta eat a b- platano, un platano, and you gotta keep your socks on. Like fucking fools gone wild, wow, you gotta you, pull them up. <laughs> you gotta pull them up. The higher the sock, the down the little right. fool you're gonna make, bro. The higher I'm the sock, you. the deeper the nut. <laughs> That's how you, I'm three for three. Now so, maybe man. you're just a good pitcher, fool. Maybe, maybe you're a good quarterback, yeah, yeah. and you just throw them deep. Yeah. So, oh oh shit, I see an egg over there. Watch this. That's another fucking joke, dog. Uh. <laughs> I'm high as fuck, guys. Smoking on this emo brown right here. The emo brown. Pre-emo. Where do you get this at? What, how, how, if I'm in uh, Chula Vista, where do I get yeah, this bro, at? If you're in San Diego, come down to Grasshopper. Grasshopper takes care of us. They sponsor the podcast. Okay. Homies. We all went to the same school. Telling you, fool, Chula Vista's got talent right now. There's a lot of, lot of business so. owners that are just doing it right. A lot of... A lot of talent going on in Chula Vista. So, Evil oh. Brown, the pre-roll, available at Grasshopper. Well, hey, we're fucking high, and I think the pizza just got here. So, we're going to take a break, everybody. We'll be back. And I said that like a wet bag, but proud. <laughs> <laughs> Boom! Shaka just with one laka. Yo, we back, everybody. Once again, George Press Stories is also brought to you by Gunther's, loca- located in downtown Santana, they got two stores, one off of Broadway, one off of Main. What does Gunther's have? They got Pendletons. They got more Pendletons and then the movie Blood In, Blood Out. Jeez, but that's a lot of Pendletons. And American Me, dog, put together, dog. They they got more Pendletons than, like, the Raiders' last Super Bowl party. <laughs> when was that? Hey, don't rub shit in. <laughs> All right, the Chargers left. Yeah, and I'm bitter. <laughs> Llorando el vato. All right, did that hurt? 
Yeah, fool. That was yeah. everything. It was the Padres and the Chargers, and they both suck, but it were they are our teams. Yeah. They were our teams. I feel bad for the homies from San Diego that got bolts on their head. I know a handful of them, fool. Yeah. yeah they fucking floss it still. Like, hey, I'm still down with the Chargers, eh? I'm down forever. I was like, yeah, bitch, you got a fucking bolt behind your ear. You're not going <laughs> yeah. anywhere. You're not going anywhere. <laughs> Damn. Why did they leave the Feria, huh? It's always Feria. It's always Feria, bro. Damn. They did San Diego dirty. A lot of people still Weren't like the Clippers butter. from San Diego, too? Damien se los fueron, bro. They were San Diego Clippers as well. Damn. Yeah. What else does San Diego have? That now, left? only the... Pa- oh, that left? Shit. How the Paisas? <laughs> yeah, no, no. Paisas, we stay, fool. We like San Diego. San Diego, yeah. I love San Diego, yeah. homie. That's I love San Diego. When I go there, it's always a great time. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's... Uh, it's California is all our people. Yeah. You know? And I... Shit, I love Tijuana. I, I'm, I don't go no more. I used to go a lot when my dad was alive. Have you ever heard of Juan Soldado? Juan Soldado, no. He's like a soldier over there, and my dad would go over there, but like then I heard some bad shit about him. <laughs> 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 like, yeah, you always hear bad shit about a saying. You're like, Ooh, wait a minute. This this <laughs> did, did, is there any beef on Moses? Probably for Right? Like, did Moses do anything? Like, did he fuck a sheep? What did he do? He parted the water. Bad tipper. Is it bad tipper? Moses. Bad tipper? Yeah. Come on, dog. Come on. <laughs> that motherfucker put more than a tip in the water. He made it par. To open that shit. That's some shit, huh? Like, they want us to believe that. And people believe it? They're like, yeah, dog. The water was just like, uh, and he's like, go ahead. That's that's a coyote. For <laughs> coyote activities. Right? <laughs> Mo- was Moses a coyote? I don't know. I'm kind of pissed off right now for the pizza that didn't come, dog. Ain't that some shit right there? You got us hype on the pizza. We're I waiting. know. I feel like I gave you guys blue stomach instead of blue balls. <laughs> I didn't even want pizza, but then he sold it so hard. I was like, you know what? I yeah. can go for a fucking slice of pizza. For, with, 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 with Chévez de Nero. Chévez de Nero. Chévez de Nero. Look at that. And pizza that never showed up. Ooh, con jalapenos. That's how you order your pizza? How you order your pizza, boo? Uh, jalapenos, uh, pepperoni. Huh? And then, like, fucking, sometimes I like to put the fucking, uh, the Taco Bell sauce on it. Okay, okay. All right. The All right. Taco Bell, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. they're mild. Uh, oh, the mild one? For, no, flavorful. medium. Medium. Oh, yeah, yeah. for some reason, it bangs, it's got It's got good flavor. It's no, got good flavor. It's watery, dude. Get it. Yeah. Where's that pizza? <laughs> Me dog, that's called the that's called the Jorge Lini. <laughs> Jorge Lini. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Jorge Lini. Hey, Jorge Lini. That's like my little paisa restaurant, dog. The Jorge Lini. Oh shit. That's yeah. What would you call your little paisa Italian restaurant? Fuck. Damn. I don't know if we. <laughs> that's a fucking valid question. Write that shit down so we remember. My little Imo Brownskis. Yeah, pizza by the slice. Come to Imo Brownski. <laughs> pizza by the slice. That's what's, you think you could hang with the Italians? No. Nah, no. What, um, what, what is it? The, the, the tomatoes are better over there? The bread? Is that what it is? Like The ingredients. <laughs> huh? No, oh, okay. I don't know what the fuck it is. I think they said it's the water. Yeah, I think it's the water, <laughs> too. Cause, yeah, the water and the dough. Because I heard like Cleveland gets it and New York like they got the best fucking bread as far as like shit like that. In yeah. serio? Because of the minerals or something yeah. in the water that they cook the bread. Philly cheesesteaks are good. Yeah. Philly cheesesteaks got great bread. Yeah. Look in San Diego. But we got bolillos. Bolillos que más quieres, bro? Is tortas bol- ahogados, tortas ahogadas. They only exist in Guadalajara. Is a bolillo know? torta better than a Philly cheesesteak? I don't know. I fucks with cheesesteaks, fool. I fucks with cheesesteaks. But, but, okay, but look, but yeah. what if it was like top notch, like, got in it, dog? Like, they fucking. Fuck. This cow was like a model. You're going to have to take my Mexican <laughs> car. <laughs> yeah, yeah. La like, Venadita. Right? From Ooh, La Venadita. From La Venadita. Uh, yeah, I, I fuck with this. I don't know. I, I mean, I've never had a Philly cheesesteak from Philly. Mm-hmm. Like, I think uh, this is. If some paisa showed up uh-huh. with meat from La Venedita, go ahead and started snagging tortas, Next some motherfuckers shit. would be like, uh, What the fuck is that white cheese? Mm, that's Panella. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> They're like, Is that Hitler cheese? <laughs> 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 I 
Oh, man. Well, what's up with Kanye, perro? You tell me, fool. You don't say nada de vato. You don't know nothing about Kanye? No. I, I, he said some shit about Jews, and they thought it was anti-Semitic. Mm-hmm. And then Adidas was like, we don't want you, dog. Yeah, but yeah, Adidas yeah, yeah. is made by Germans. <laughs> and yeah. That's the crazy shit. And then uh, Adidas is like, damn. I heard uh, Jonah what? Hill cured Kanye West of his anti-Semitic. Yeah, he's seen 21 Jump Street yeah. and was like, he oh, got my God. Oh, yeah. Perspective change. That's some weird, like, yeah, like, I, I didn't watch American History X and mm. want to go hug everybody in Huntington Beach. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's some crazy shit. Like, nobody watched Cheech and Chong. I was like, hey, take the wall down. <laughs> <laughs> Let them in. <laughs> That's some shit. Honestly, though, this is my theory, and it's funny, and I really mean it. But if you're crossing the border, cross the border with the best dish your grandma ever made and give it to that border agent. And if it's fucking good, he'll let you go. Like that? If you passed off with some bomb-ass chili relleno, carne, fucking a whole meal. Dog. No, yeah, de pozole, bro. Yeah, this fool's like, what the fuck? Go. go. Don't, don't, <laughs> don't ever worry about yes. that. Go. <laughs> Make a shop with this. Make a shop with this. You know what I mean? Make a shop. Prosper. I don't know. It's, it's some fucked up shit. The border's tough, dog. Oh, yeah, bro. There's no you right know? or wrong answer. It's yeah, just... it's like, hey, to me, the border's like, tag, don't get mad if you get caught. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Yeah. You should have never froze, player. You should have played cartoon <laughs> Red light, green tag. Light. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever play cartoon tag? Cartoon tag? No, what's that? Yeah, it's a, it's so we're playing tag, but huh? you have to name a cartoon. All right. And it has to be different. But like, you'd be like, Bugs Bunny. Oh. And he'd be like, what do you want? Like, it, the Flintstones. Yeah, yeah. Those stuck too. <laughs> like, it was just wild shit. Yeah. I'm fucking hungry, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Le quitaron la pizza. <laughs> and it was Pizza Hut's bitch ass. It was Pizza Hut? They always do that shit. Yeah? Because they, they've been in the game forever. They're old. They got good They get motors. sloppy. They're allowed to get sloppy because they've yeah. been in the gang so long. Right, Fuck right. them motherfuckers. Dog. I haven't eaten Pizza Hut in decades, fool. No? Yeah. Nah. We told, uh, we were, when they were like, you know what? We've made it. We don't have to fucking eat Pizza Hut anymore. Let's only go and eat fucking from here to there. Yeah, so we never went back yeah? to Pizza Hut. Bro. You're like, fuck it, why have Yeah, bro. Huh? What happened? <laughs> no. Yeah. No. No. <laughs> it was, yeah, I remember that shit, dog. Like, they would, like, stamp your shit, dog, and you'd go put your thing on. Like, it was a chart. I would lied so much. I never read. Oh, there was there. I never read where the red fern grows or where the fern grows. On the only books I read was Animal Farm. Uh, the one with the conch, George Orwell. What the fuck was that? Lord of the Flies. That shit was. You ever read Lord of the Flies? I've read Lord of the Flies. You went to a paisa school, huh? You're like, we went to India de Maria. Los enseñaron el Padre Nuestro. No, I've never read Lord of the Flies. What's that about? Lord of the Flies is a book by George Orwell where uh, he he lets everybody know nobody is ever born evil. You will adapt to your environment. Environment. So uh, these kids that go to a private school, a plane crashes on an island. And then the kids, what do they do? They end up breaking into two groups and fighting each other for control of that island. And then the stronger people were taking the fucking, some folk had glasses, so they would use it to make fire. Then they became hunters. They started painting themselves. And the other fools still chilling in school uniform. Oh, fuck. Is that- <laughs> like the fucking butchers at Northgate. <laughs> Hey, and, and yeah, and they kill one of them because of fear. Like they think he's a ghost. They kill Simon, and like it's it's crazy because like it it dictates that's what it, how do I say it? the metaphor of the satire is that Simon's like Jesus. He was innocent and he was there to help, but they killed him. Yeah, and and then yeah. And then at the end, they get rescued by killers. They get rescued by a submarine that kills people by a special Navy team. And they kill Piggy, the fat full dog. Damn, well, spoiler alert. Shit, man. What if I want to know? No, it's too late. Like, oh, <laughs> it's too late, player. Too late. Yeah. Is it a movie, too? It was a movie. Nah. That shit was funny when they dropped the rock on Piggy, fool. <laughs> <laughs> because, like, so they established. The full name Piggy? <laughs> yeah, because that's what he was a fat, full chubby, uh-huh. and mm-hmm. it, it just showed like 
how society's like, F- fuck, fuck this fat fool doesn't deserve to speak. Yeah. He ain't cute. This motherfucker sucks at PE. Fuck. <laughs> Ankle socks. But the crazy part is in medieval times, a fat person was considered rich because yeah. he could eat. Gluttonous. You had, had all the money to eat. Motherfucker, it was hard. It was hard yeah. to take a shower. Play. Imagine taking a shower. Oof. Yeah, the, Oof. Who, where are you gonna get a tub and warm water from, player? Mm. And soap. And, soap? and who's, Forget and who's about gonna it. take all that shit off you and put it back on? That's some crazy shit. Imagine that shit, stinky pussy like that back then. Go ahead, tell us. All right? Medieval times. Medieval pussy. times. Pussy. <laughs> oh man, yes. <laughs> Pubic hair is thicker than Samoan. Go ahead. Calves. Calves. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Usos, nothing but love, dog. <laughs> so, yo, homie, uh, where can everybody follow you? Hey, you know what's crazy? I feel what? like we barely scratched the surface, dog. Oh yeah, yeah. We got we can always hang on. Yes, we, we gotta got do this again, my boy. Dude, I got beers for you. Whenever you need beers, oh, thank you, know. thank you, bro. Follow us at the Emo Brown on all things Emo Brown. Follow us at Three Punk Ales. You know, mm-hmm. where is that bubble. located? Can you give address? Three Punk Ales. We're located on 259 Third Avenue in Chula Vista in the heart. Straight down the dick of Chula Vista. I got to go over there, dog. Ya dijo. I got to go. Casita, no, quieras. I got to go. It's your home, bro. Whenever you I got to go. We got to work on that GPS IPA, bro. Ooh, <laughs> Something's coming, know? dog. The lagger. All right? The lagger. <laughs> the lagger. <laughs> they have a picture of me and then my kids at a park waiting for me. Oh, <laughs> man. <laughs> Pero ahí vengo, mijo. Ahí voy. <laughs> So when you drink that shit, you're like, how come you didn't pick me up, Dad? I was drinking the lager, amigo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Pues, hey, my boy, gracias for coming. Thank you for blessing me with Chavez de Nero. Oof. The emo brown joints. Uh, I'm going to see you on my birthday, right? April 4th, the show. Bro. April 4th at the comedy yeah, store. Yeah, pues, man. gracias, my boy. I'll Thank you once I'll again. Thank you, it was fucking awesome. Great conversation. Uh Hey, like I, you're cool. You made me so comfortable. Like I, I, I wrote some jokes. I appreciate you, yeah, dog. I'm for here, being man. Real and shit. I see. Gracias, brother. Um, everybody, for my future dates, April fourth, I'll be at the Comedy Store main room. That's Tuesday, ten thirty. Only thirty tickets left, guys. Eight days for the show. It'll be seven days when this airs. Get your tickets. There is no guest list. Uh, the comedians on the show are ridiculous. And we got one special guest coming that you usually got to pay 80 bucks to see. Um, April 22nd, I will be at the Upstage Lounge in San Antonio. That's a Saturday. I got two shows. April 12th, I'll be at the Comedy Store in La Jolla. Oh, shit. We're gonna go yes. Down. Yeah. We'll check uh, yeah, dog. For sure. We'll for show. Uh, I'll come kick it as well. May 5th, I will be at the Sunset Strip Comedy Club in Austin, Texas. Red Man's new club. Ticket link's going to go up there. That's May 5th, everybody. Uh, June 17th, I will be at the Stand Up Comedy Club in Bellflower. June 24th, I'll be at the YouTube Theater with the Fools Gone Wild and... uh, more fucking dates coming, eh? Oh, my miss, bro. Stay busy, fool. Oh, okay. you have to, dog. This is George Perez Stories, episode 309. Thank you so much for coming down, my boy. I'll stay here. It's been an honor to be here. Thank man. you, brother. It's an Appreciate honor to have you, you here. With that being said, take a shower, brown power, late, and fuck Pizza Hut. <laughs>